Hey guys, I'm gonna do face up today. <laughs> uh, don't mind my kitchen, it's a complete mess. Because I got up this morning and I was like, I could do all my housework or I could do a face up. I actually feel like doing a face up and I haven't done one for a long time. So, this is gonna be interesting. Here I got my um, doll zone row. Um, the lighting's really bad in here, but we will give it a try. Honestly, I actually like, I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> it's been so long. I got my chalks. I always put my chalks on like sandpaper. I know it sounds weird, but it kind of works for me. I should be wearing gloves when I do this, I know. Hmm. It's been so long. I'm just gonna do a little bit of like. Oh, this paintbrush sucks. I need a better paintbrush. Let's do some. Starting to think why I ain't sealed. Dad! I beat you. That's no good. Uh, I'm not sure if I let my sealant dry long enough, so I'm so impatient. Ah! This is like seriously watching a newbie doing a face up. It's been so long. Oh, I did the blow thing where you blow on it and then like you get a blob of spit. I know, I do all the no-nos. I'm gonna try this weird um, like splatter thing <laughs> I've seen people do for freckles. So I hope it's not, I already tried a little bit and it was working. So with my luck, oh yeah, interesting. Okay, it's okay, but it kind of just makes them look dirty. <laughs> this could be a complete fail. I'm just gonna like smudge it a bit with this. Oh yeah, I think you need to like tap them out. There we go. That's interesting. I think if you did layers like that, it, it would look definitely more like actual freckles. So the thing about freckles to make them natural is really they're in layers. So I think I'll do freckles in every layer I do on the face up. And I have a good reference because I am the queen of freckles. Look at those arms. I have like the most freckly skin ever. I don't know if it, I guess you can see it, but a lot of times in my videos I have the lighting on really bright, so you can't really see, but I have a lot of freckles. Oh, my poor little head out there on the deck. I know it's a, there's a little bit of sun, but I'm sure he'll survive. I apologize, my kids are home, so there's going to be interruptions. But I thought, I don't think I showed you my um, Doll Chateau Hugh with his face up. So I'm just going to go grab him. Here is my Hugh. I actually switched out his blue wig, uh, just experimenting, and I tried on um, my Ring Doll Carlos had this wig on, and I just modified it to fit him. So I should probably kind of move his hair so you can actually see it. The face up on this guy is not great, but I don't know if you can even see it. See, Just turn the lighting down. So there he is. I didn't do anything really fancy on him. He kind of, I actually gave him sort of sad eyebrows, which usually a lot of my dolls, I give them angry eyebrows, <laughs> but there he is. I absolutely love him. I have to say he's my favorite doll at the moment. <laughs> made him this outfit. He is so kicky, but I don't know. It might be his strings or just the way doll chateaus are. I don't really care. But yeah, I gave him this outfit. I kept the shoes that I got with him on them though. I was trying to make it look sort of like raggedy and worn out, but I think I need to do some more like, what do you call that when you try and make things, try and make things look old? It's been so long since I've done a video. I'm sorry I keep looking at the, the view screen instead of the camera. 
So yeah, what is it called? Aging? Like, I don't know, somehow I want to age the clothes so it looks really rackety and old. Um, I'll have to look up some stuff on how to do that. But yeah, anyways, I kind of like this crazy, crazy wig on him. Um, I'm going to go and get my hue head before he gets sunburnt in the sun. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to have them in the sun. Get yellowed in the sun. All right. All right, I'm back. I got this guy again. Um, <laughs> I think I, with the splatter technique, I went a little overboard. <laughs> so, like, it just looks like he ran through a mud puddle. <laughs> Let's be honest. I am seriously, like, I feel like I'm back to, like, square one of face out books. Uh, not face books. <laughs> face ups. It's been so long since I've done them. But we'll see how it turns out. Almost every single time I do a face up, it's the second one that I keep, so we'll see. Let's continue this adventure. It's been so long, I don't even remember the process. <laughs> then I do like the red tones usually first, but he looks really red now. Maybe some brown tones in there, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, guys. It's been so long. So you gotta hear me go, ah! I've never really done face-ups properly. I just kind of go crazy usually. And I tried to airbrush once and seriously it was just complete disaster. Uh, I don't know what to do with this guy. Originally he was going to be really like gothy. But I actually um... I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh, um, I haven't been doing as many gothy type face ups anymore. So I've been trying to go for more natural looks, but. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm gonna put a little more there. <laughs> this is like watching a newbie try to do a face up. It's been so long. <sighs> it's my experiment face up because it's been so long since I've done one. So, yeah. Time to go out and spray him. So, <laughs> every time I go outside to get him, because the lighting is so much nicer outside, I notice like all like the crappy things. <laughs> He totally has a sunburn <laughs> and I always do the sunburn effect on like all my face ups because I tend to use too much red so I'm hoping I can kind of tone that out a bit. See you look at that the line of the nose it looks like he had like chains or something there so I'm really hoping see the lines on the nose it looks like he had like something on his face like a face mask right hey very COVID-19 looking. <laughs> But I don't really want it like that, so I'm hoping I can kind of blend it a bit. So, progress. He still looks kind of sunburnt, but I think I'm going to sort of look, keep that look. Um, I always suck so bad at lips. <sighs> I never had to know how to do them properly. So, I'm going to spray him down and the next step will be the hardest part which I should have done first because if I screw it up it sucks and that's the eyebrows and eyelashes which I don't know why I left them actually I just realized I forgot to, to shade the, the eyebrows in to where they're gonna go I think I'll do that and then I'll spray them so guys um yeah I totally botched the eyebrows I usually do like the shading for the eyebrows first so that if I mess up, it's easy to redo. Instead of doing all the details and then doing that last, which wasn't very smart. But it's been a long time since I've done a face up, so eh. I'm sure I can fix it. I don't want I don't want to show you the um it at the moment when it's botched. I'll show it to you when I hopefully fix it. Otherwise I have to redo the whole face up. <laughs> so um yeah, I'll get back to you later. So I went to draw his eyebrows on and 
sharpen my pencil and yeah I don't think I let the sealant dry or the humidity in here is too bad because it just like scraped the sealant right on and I wasn't even pushing that hard so then I tried to rub it off with um, <sighs> my pencil I mean with the magic like just really lightly to try it to see if I could recover it and it just got worse and worse and worse so unfortunately I'm really sad because I was actually kind of starting to like this but I have to redo the whole thing now which super sucks <sighs> that's life as I said it's usually the second one that works out I'm back so I had a bit of sealant disaster as I showed but I did try and revive it and I put his hair on so he... <laughs> um, oh, I'll show you his eyes are a little wonky but uh, I figured it's just like I did actually try and fix it but it's not great <laughs> it looks pretty bad actually looks worse on the camera than it does in real life so for now he's just gonna have this hairstyle and because I really did not feel like redoing the whole thing I'll give myself a couple of weeks and then redo it the other thing is I'm missing um, I don't have any um, a gloss and I'm kind of obsessed with putting gloss like around eyes and lips and stuff because I think it gives a good effect so I actually kind of like um, the blue hair at first I thought oh it clashes with the sort of brownie tones on his face and reddy tones but it actually reminds me of like when I dye my hair like blue and like bright colors it kind of looks a little odd but I don't know I think it's super cute on him with his uh, ugly eye covered <laughs> But I would probably do that anyways because I always make the, the eyebrows uneven. <laughs> so I will see you guys later. Bye.